Tonight, London Sky Cops pull out all the stops to make sure that for the capital's criminals, there is no hiding place. Men who are on the run and fear no one. Reckless car thieves. And ruthless gangs. All caught on camera. Uh, yeah, he's, he's stripping it now. He's one of our boys. Once you, you've got someone on camera, you really don't want to let them get away. We are going to jail. Once we're locked on, then we get the result. Pitts Hill, 6 a.m. PCs Tartaglia and Cole are on a secret mission with Captain Sweeting. Nine Nine's job is to obtain video proof that this scrapyard is being used to break up stolen luxury cars for export. Captain Sweeting, you know, we're on scene hovering above this, uh, but standing off from this yard. The engines being loaded onto the truck are from Mercedes cars. Thought to be on their way to Africa, where they are worth four times their London value. We did quite a bit of surveillance, getting as much footage as we could uh, about what the guys were doing and, and what cars were in there at the time. It was the perfect vantage point because we've got the manoeuvrability. It let us see right inside the yard and see who was who was involved in it and who was possibly linked to it as well. Can you also get hold of uh, Stuart from SCD6 and uh, just let him know that we're videoing some more for him, which includes engines being loaded onto the back of a, a flatbed. Nine Nine's spy pictures are being fed to the car squad, who are at a nearby police station, planning how to put the gang out of business. They're going to raid the yard. For those of you who don't know me, my name's Stuart Dark, I'm the DCI in charge of the Stolen Vehicle Unit. This is the culmination of some excellent proactive work between a number of units. Yeah. It's important to stress that to you because we don't want to cock it up for the good work that's gone before today. Apart from India 99 and the Sky Cops, more than 20 ground officers will be involved. The background to it is that there's a gang highly organised, involved in stealing Mercedes motor cars, taking them onto these plots, stripping them for parts, and then shipping those parts abroad. And we've got good evidence of the activity they've been involved in. Safety. These people are likely to be looking at substantial prison sentencing and also pocket seizure of their assets. Given half a chance, they're likely to either run or fight. So we need to actually think about control of the prisoners before we do anything else. Please bear in mind what you're there for. In East London, a man high on drugs is terrorising motorists on the North Circular. He's being chased by traffic cops who know they need the help of India 99. The chase is so dangerous that 99 will abandon its secret mission to help deal with the crazy driver. This is an unusual pursuit. The police had no idea he was driving whilst unfit. They were on their way to a broken down lorry. You're going to have to chase him there. From his manner of driving, we knew that it wasn't somebody trying to get out of their way. He panicked thought we were after him and, and off he went. It won't take 99 long to reach the chase. She's got a top speed of 130 miles an hour. Which is exactly what speed this car can do, flat out. Though it's now left the North Circular and can go nowhere near that. But he's still too quick for the traffic cops. 
PC Tartaglia will now take responsibility for the pursuit. As 99's tactical commander, he will try and marshal the ground units into positions to stop the man in the sports car. There are two vehicles now heading northbound down Yelling Lane, uh, just at the junction with Kensington Drive, uh, still northbound. So we got over the top of it with the ground car still engaged, and we took over the pursuit at that point, took over the commentary. It's not going to be easy, but at least the driver is heading towards other police cars. PC Tartaglia has worked out that the man is so drugged up that he's driving in circles. He doesn't know where he is going. And there's extreme danger ahead. He's coming back on himself now onto uh, Yelling Lane. A female learner driver at the junction. He didn't slow down at all when he took that sweeping bend. There was a plume of brake smoke. He hit her, spun her off the road, and the front of the car was about a foot shorter than it was. Amazingly, the woman isn't badly hurt, and the drug driver's airbag did not inflate. Yeah, he's still going. He's about to stop. The officer jumped out to try and get to him, but he was already moving before the officer got three or four steps. Go, 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 go! Yeah, he's still going. He's the traffic cops know it is now only a matter of time before the car falls to bits. The car was damaged really badly, but he still carried on going. And PC Tartaglia can see that the driver has finally outsmarted himself okay, vehicle, uh, now left, left, left. by driving into a traffic jam. He went on the inside lane, so I could see ahead that that was blocked. I was half expecting him because of everything else he'd done to mount the footpath and just keep on going. Unfortunately, the ground officers got there. He was hoiked out and uh, detained. Vehicle's been stopped, uh, driver detained. Vehicle stopped and driver detained. Beautiful. Lovely old business. The man isn't only under the influence of drugs. He's banned from driving as well. Words fail me. Words fail me for people like that. We always get them in the end. Nine nines out of fuel and needed elsewhere, urgently. The car squad's already heading for the yard where the stolen mercs are being broken up. Nine Nine's camera will be the centre of attention, giving police commanders the inside view. Uh, the pictures go straight to Scotland Yard to see what's happening on a with a really wide view. Just let you know that we're videoing some more front, which includes engines being loaded onto the back of a flatbed. Only we can give that. Captain Roberts is back on duty. From a cast of two, we have two available. He'll be flying the main mission. From the no times this morning, nothing really going to affect us other than the kite flying at Enfield. We're really coming in on the end of it. We've very little idea of the weeks and months of, of work that's gone into um, preparing for a task like that. We know typically probably hundreds of cars have been through there in the preceding months, and that, you know, today is the culmination of all that effort. Lippitz Hill is just minutes from the scrapyard. Captain Roberts is just in time. Um, there's a of waste ground to the right with one vehicle in there. There should be a black murk in the yard. Another Mercedes is being hidden, but not from 99. But I think what we'll do is go over flight and then away. Yep, and I'll move John will blow it this close to uh, D-Day. D-Day should be within the hour when all the members of the gang are in the yard and engaged in criminal activity. Uh, yeah, he's, he's stripping it now. He's one of our boys, I think. They were actually dismantling a car, and we could see that quite clearly. So we knew there were at least two or three people within the confines of the yard itself. Right, the boot's gone. Yeah, just tighten up a little bit. I saw the parts on that flatbed behind here, at the back. Let's have a look at the boot. Can you get the index off the tax disc? I'll cover the glasses on you, I can see that. Yeah. 
there's a problem. On four. That's the bird. That bird is running across the front of the screen. The prime target, the main man, is driving off in a Merc. That might be a jump car following it off. It's not yet known if it's his or one he's stolen. We'll hold the, we'll hold the yards until we get further. The car squad can now only watch and wait. No point in going in without being able to nab the boss. Ground cops will keep an eye on things while 99 spends time patrolling part of North London, looking for mopeds. There's been a spate of violent robberies involving mopeds, and the Sky Cops have been trying to catch them at it. It doesn't take long. My side. Oh, I got it. Thank you, Romeo, India 9. Just a quick uh, car check on a scooter on the move. Currently, Lord Chip Lane. 170 S Sierra, a silver and grey Gawara scooter. The keeper um, since the 16th of May this year is from Morden in Surrey. People on this moped were concerned in an ABH, and there's a crush report for it. Uh -huh. The bike was involved in a, an assault a couple of days ago. Yeah, so I don't know units nearby. Because someone had crossed in front of them at a pedestrian crossing, one of the riders had got off and, and assaulted this chap. It's now uh, White Hart Lane, travelling east. So we started to direct uh, ground units onto this bike. In fact, it just turned off into a garage in the White Hart Lane. So was... We were keen to get it stopped because they hadn't yet uh, arrested anyone for that case. I see three rider. Blue jeans, white trainers. The man may not be involved in robberies, but he is acting suspiciously. And so is the driver of the car he's got into. He got off the bike, he crosses the road and gets into the passenger seat of this silver Peugeot car. And he's now into a, uh, the passenger seat of a car. Stand by for the vest. We were certainly thinking suspicious activity. Stand by for direction and it's a right right eastbound in White Hart Lane. We're thinking maybe some, some kind of exchange had happened within the car. I think that car is now in the same garage as the uh, moped and the rider's out. Stand by. We start to suspect drugs. There he is, bottom of the screen. And the moped's now off, off again, eastbound, White Hart Lane. 2-3, we're just coming into White Hart Lane now, over. Yeah, see, so he's now eastbound, White Hart Lane, towards... Uh... Oh, that's parking up. He's popped up again now on the A10 and he's uh, off into the market at the football ground. While he's in the market, he's made at least two or three exchanges with certain people of, of what we think was a small small package. We were quite low by then. We, we were certainly making uh, a lot of noise. Where's he going now? It's at that point that we think he might be aware of the helicopter, but he's never looked up at any time. This is turning into a right old mystery. As we get closer, I mean, I'll put you. One PC Cole is determined to solve. In East London, the raid teams are still waiting for the boss man to return. Just as well, because at Lippitz Hill, engineers are still having trouble keeping their helicopters in the air. Two are now out of action, one long term. That means the one PC coal has is invaluable. At any moment, it might be needed for the scrapyard raid. He still hasn't managed to get ground cops to his moped man, but they're almost there. He's an icy female, Kevin and Crash, shall we? Starts to walk down the road. If you slow down, you'll see him on your left there, left there. As soon as the police car pulls up next to him and the door's open, this guy's off on his toes. Yeah, and he's now running westbound White Hart Lane. Running westbound White Hart Lane. <laughs> Units to White Hart Lane, please. PC Cole is once again in need of ground cops to help. Passing the allotments. And he's turned right into, is it Gospatrick Road? Right into Gospatrick. Yeah, he's still in Gospatrick and it's a right right into Stockton Road. Moped man has run straight into someone's house. Uh, there's a canal. Yeah, yeah, those yards, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he's out in the back garden, out in the back garden. Oh, yeah, it's the same place, thanks, Romeo. Yeah, IRV, IRV, turn right there, turn right there, pass the silver car, turn right, that's it. 
He's jumping over gardens, jumping behind sheds. A couple of times we think he's going to try and hide behind a shed, but then we see him go for the next back garden. Back garden the one of houses to your right. You see kids that were playing out in the in the garden running after him, which is obviously quite a, a worrying aspect of it. You, we don't know whether he's armed or anything like that. And there's young kids running into the house, possibly challenging him. Guy is coming up back towards you. He's going to be coming over the fence towards your location ahead of you. Stand by. PC Cole's net is tightening. He's now got enough officers to cover all the angles. That's it, one PC that side, one PC to the left. He's now trying to get through, he's, 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 go, he's going through the doorway, back out onto the road towards your vehicle. But the man hasn't run straight through the house. Now, where you both are, he's gone through a back door in one of the houses between... We've let a police officer know on the ground which house it is. He's come through into the back garden and said that the ground floor is all clear. Yeah, the PC came out of the back garden with a red tarmac. We saw him go in that door. So we said, well, there's only one place he's going to be then, and upstairs they, uh, they find him and make the arrest. 283, do you have a suspect? As 9-9 heads off to refuel, the car squad is ready to go. The main man is back. Depending on London traffic, they're 15, 20 minutes away, so we're actually now getting into, into a stage where we're getting readiness to actually uh, make the hit. By the time they've got a full tank, everyone should be at the gates. If you time it right, I should get there and do the raid. I just don't want to miss it. But the operation's in trouble. Half of the police convoy is stuck in traffic. Well, because we've been waiting uh, sort of seven, eight hours now, we're now into the rush hour. And at Lippitz Hill, Captain Sweeting can't take off. Warning lights, flashing when they shouldn't. Sweeting and his crew aren't going anywhere, and it's getting worse and more worrying. A power surge. The convoy's on the move at last and will be in position within minutes. The other two helicopters are still broken. One should be fixed soon, but the raid can't be delayed at this stage. Well, I just don't believe that. Who is it, Victor Meldrew? I don't believe it. For the first time in their history, London's sky cops are grounded. The engineers now are working as hard as they can. The quicker they can get an aircraft up and running, then uh, the, the, the quicker we can all relax a little bit. We're not in the business of sitting on the ground waiting for aeroplanes to come serviceable. We're in the business of catching criminals. The final pieces of the raid plan are being driven into place. While the air support unit's senior management considers the crisis. At the moment, we're just trying to get you a serviceable aircraft. Yeah. yeah. But it's not worth looking at hiring an aircraft in. It's going to cost 26,000 if we've got a prop up. If it had happened earlier in the day, it, it would have been annoying, but it, that adds to the stress and adds to the frustration. Now, why, why now? This is the first time, though, that this has happened, isn't it? In, in, in over a, years. Yeah, yeah. That we've lost all three for, in this dramatic way. Is it really? That's the worst we've had at the tomorrow It's the worst we've ever had, but there you go. Yeah. But there's good news. The engineers have got one helicopter working. Captain Roberts is at the controls and away to the scrapyard for the car squad. Because we had a rough time, you never know what the factors are on the ground um, that will be the trigger for the actual raid to go down. Yeah. But that, that guy in the launch speed, white top, he's one of the main targets, huh? On the top? Yep. Yeah. 9-9 nine, nine is yeah. in time. The convoy is moving in. Oh, here we go. One, one, two, three, five, managed to get everyone in the same place at the same time. This lot are going to start pegging it. Come on, boys. And that's when the ground units all went in, and we were overhead to cover it. 
Right, I want to see if that bear is in the yard. I've come to sign on. Yes, sir. I didn't strike, no problem. I want to make sure they know where the Merc is in the yellow car wash van. I'm going to search you to see if you've got anything on you to aid your escape. The arrests are mounting, and so too is the evidence. We've got uh, one and two of the three suspects we wanted. We've got uh, the van still here that we wanted, which we believe might have a BMW in the back. We've also got a truck in the yard next door, which we believe is loaded with uh, stolen engines and gearboxes and that sort of stuff. But the car squad haven't yet got one man. All right, that's reversing out. He's going to start, he might peg it. Nine, nine has. Yeah, you're all centred on the On back. camera. Yeah, got it. Two. He's going to go back in. Trying to sneak away in his Merc. Can he drive off? Yes, might be able to drive off. Everybody was was immediately detained, um, apart from one car. Uh, this one Mercedes on the main street where everything was going on seemed to look out the side window as if to think, I don't want to be driving down that road, and uh, sneaked away, sneaked around the corner. DC Gordon, DC Gordon, Indian 99. PC Cole needs to let the raid leaders know what's going on out the back. Right, watch this driver, watch this driver. While they're busy arresting people at the front. It would be good to talk. It seems the man has bodyguards and they're trying to look after him. I'll have to make an executive decision in a minute to get this stopped by locals. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, go for it. Put it on the main We've just assisted the um, stolen vehicle unit with a raid. Um, there's one vehicle that's got away, uh, but hasn't been uh, stopped yet by the units. Have you got any spare units that can come just north of the estate and uh, assist us, please? More ground cops won't be needed. DC Gordon, if that's you running down on the right, right, right behind the Fiesta, I think it is. The car squad have heard the call and have got their man in their sights at last. I think he would have waited there until every, all the police units had gone and it all calmed down and he would have been able to drive off. It's not been stopped. We were able to keep an eye on him and get in contact with one of the guys in charge of the raid, direct them into him and he was also arrested. For him, there's nowhere left to hide. On the day we arrested seven people, we were content that we arrested all the people we were looking for. We've actually taken what is potentially the whole process in one swoop. We've actually got people who we believe may have been the thieves involved in this, people who were controlling the operation, and also we've recovered property, not only in the process of being stripped, but lined up, ready to be transported away. We've closed down the whole factory. It was quite a professional outfit. They were, they were in and getting them out sort of pretty quickly. Thousands and thousands of pounds just dismantling them um, and uh, sending the carcass off for scrap. And the, the engines and gearboxes are brought for, for sale. There'll be a lot of relieved Mercedes owners uh, in London at the moment, yeah. yeah. They might be able to hang on to the machines for a while. That's our pleasure. We'll speak to you soon. No, no, no. At an airport in Oxfordshire, Sergeant Richard Brandon is in search of salvation. He's here to find out when the Sky Cops are going to get three brand new helicopters. £15 million worth of state-of-the-art machines, which are intended to revolutionise the way London is policed from the air. The new aircraft is capable of carrying half a dozen people in the back. It's capable of multi-role, so we've designed it so that it can go from its standard air support role into a personnel carriage 
or a specialist deployment or even an equipment carriage role within 15 minutes. So we'll be able to deploy firearms officers to inaccessible places such as you know, rear gardens, rooftops of buildings, etc. We're aiming to have the most sophisticated police helicopter in Europe, if not the world. The Skycops hope to have the first of their new helicopters early next year. Back at Lippitz Hill, the scrapyard crew are watching telly and what they've been up to. Police claim that a gang in East London stole Mercedes cars to order and then stripped them for their parts in just three hours. What the men didn't know was that the police were filming them. Seven men have been arrested. In amongst these wrecks in an East London salvage yard, police believe they've discovered a car crime ring of industrial proportions. They've also made headlines in the evening paper. They moved in on the ground. This is a top crew yeah, in the aircraft at the time. The police right, are right. A significant An even better crew are waiting to go to replace you. Yeah. Yeah. Looking. <laughs> top crew, who could that be then? The value of this operation is, according to the police, £75,000 a month. Tom Simons, BBC News. In Germany, the police are showing off. Äh, Vorschlag, wenn jetzt hier der letzte Winch gemacht worden ist, dann können ihr dementsprechend alle ja mit dem Bubi mit und mit. Their version of the helicopter, which London's air support unit will get in 12 weeks' time. Sergeant Gleason and a team of his Skycops are here to see it in action. We're about to watch um, the German uh, special forces and they're abseil in two teams of two, so they're four ropes from the, the aircraft. Uh, it's a very fast way of deploying four officers at once. demands in the capital, and particularly with the uh, counter-terrorism taskings, we can be much more effective and protect people from the, the capital much better, utilising air support the way it's used in Europe. It's supposed to be quieter than the helicopters we've got at the moment, and we, the fact that we could talk to each other in front of it, uh, is, uh, we couldn't do that with the ones we've got at the moment. We're flying over highly congested areas, you know, over London, um, 24 hours a day. We've got to be able to do our job, but with the least environmental impact that we can possibly do. So noise is a big issue for us. Hopefully, uh, a couple of months, we'll get our first one, and we can start uh, start our own training on it. Uh, and we're looking forward to it very much. Very so. excited. Very excited. For the time being, though, London Sky Cops will have to make do. The youth on the run pleaded guilty to possession of drugs. And the drug man who hit the learner driver was sentenced to a year in prison. The search for clues and stolen car parts in the scrapyard in East London is ongoing. Yeah, he's, he's stripping it now. He's on the bar boiler.